No, first of all, Mr. President, here is a computer-generated simulation of the first aircraft colliding with the World Trade Center. Ooh. And here it is again in false color, representing the heat gradient. Ah. Oh. And here it is again, this time in Jamaican colors, to demonstrate the cultural diversity of our simulation. Oh. And this time, using graphics from popular computer games. Oh ho ho. And now, as a black and white 1930s Looney Tunes cartoon. Oh ha ha. And here it is in the style of Japanese anime. <laughs> oh, and here's I want to see it done with Legos. Uh, Legos. 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 Damn it. Legos. Legos. Mr. President, are you sick in the head? Show some respect. This is the September 11 tragedy, not some animation extravaganza for your own amusement. Now, Professor. If you would be so kind as to show us the simulation with graphics made entirely of mugshots of Canadian actor Colin Mockery. Certainly. Legos! 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 Uh, okay, Mr. President, uh, here is a simulation of the 9-11 tragedy done with, uh, Legos. <laughs> Look at the little Lego man. <laughs> no? Mr. President, the label on the Lego box says, Not for children under three years. Contains possible choking hazard. Possible choking hazard. Oh my god! Cough it up, sir! Does anybody know the hind leg maneuver? Oh, I do! Crikey! <laughs> All right, Mr. Lego Man, you wipe that terrorist smile off your yellow belly face and you tell me everything. Who's your leader? So, you're not going to talk, huh? Well, in that case, I declare a war on Legos. The United States announced its war on Legos today and started this campaign by bombing the Danish city of Legoland. This was not While the Legoland death toll remains at zero, the damage of Legoland itself is climbing into the The billions. American military the has captured the Lego Man, who they believe to be the leader of the Legoland terrorist network. Horrifying pictures of mistreated Legoland prisoners in American military prisons have been splashed across the front pages of various British tabloids. Pictures of naked Lego men forced to partake in humiliating activities while circulating on the internet.